Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. I've had a lot of people ask about uh, comparing our 220 watt solar blanket with a power film solar blanket. So I figured I'd lay it out here. I've got, uh, I'll compare both of them being plugged into uh, the Anchor Powerhouse 767 just to kind of give real world values. That's what we have. Uh, pretty cloudy conditions here, not a lot going in. Right now, currently, I've got, um, show you right there, the wattage, 53 watts going in. I'll start with this first and then I'll, I'll do a walk around 54 and the cable here as you can see that's plugged into our 220 watt solar blanket so let's just do a comparison here 54 watts with that 53 54 I'm just gonna unplug it I'll go over the de uh, technical details here in a moment and specifications as well so now what I plugged in as you can see the cable here that leads to the power film 220 watt so you're going to see very similar results. So we were 53, 54 watts going in. Um, it does creep up a little slower with the power film. Again, literally exact same results. Oh, ironically, it's less. Okay, 43, 43 watts going in. Our solar blanket, 44. It might creep up just a bit. Normally, they're very similar or within about 5 watts. So... Um, yeah, so again, 44 watts with the power film. And with ours, ours was actually doing a little better. And let's let's just plug ours back in just to see if it does, if it actually still is. Maybe it's just the cloud cover. So there we go. Just undid the power film. Now plugging in, as you can see, the cable here leading to our 220 watt. So same thing, just a little bit of an angle there. Okay, so just plugged ours in take a moment to kick in because again we've got pretty cloudy conditions here yeah there you go so ours we're using some power gen 3 solar cells so we're actually producing more power than the power film in very low light conditions right now and right now we are let's see if i can almost quarter to 12 um it's easter weekend it's sunday yeah, 57, so it's crept up a little bit. So ours is actually producing more power than the power film. Um, yeah, on a, on a cloudy day, and that's power film's claim to fame. And they are a phenomenal product, but the fact that they work very well in low-light conditions. Well, the difference being is ours, we use some power Gen 3 solar cells. And with the 220-watt solar blanket here, we're, we're getting a... Uh, 24.1% efficiency rating. So it's, you can see the efficiency rating right there on how well that's working. Yep, 57 watts. There, just again, just in case if it's an anomaly, let's unplug ours. This is the cable, as you can see, for the power film. Plug it back in, just in case if it was an anomaly and the clouds were, there was a little bit of a cloud period that was coming in. Let's see if it's it's going to be the same or, or if the power film is still going to produce a bit less power. We got 46 watts. We had, what was it, 56, 57, 58. Okay, now we're about the same. So, you know what, it's going to be the cloud cover. So, literally, we're 58. We're, we're literally almost the same. So, the reason I unplugged it and plugged it back in um, both of them twice, so a total of four times, is I wanted to show the difference. So, there are 57 58 watts with the power film but to give you an idea you look at these let's just look at this the difference in physical size so you could literally fit close to four of our 220 watt solar blankets on the same size of the as the, the power film um, the other thing to mention is the weights the power film is I think it's 14.2 just call it 14 pounds our solar blanket, our 220 watt, which is the exact same wattage, uh, difference being using some power, <coughs> excuse me, Gen 3 solar cells, it is 13.6 pounds. And you can just see the difference in size right there. Let's walk past a puppy here. But look at the difference in size there, guys. This, is, this actually gives a way better perspective right here. You can tell how easily four of them would fit in there. So, again, power film, really, really good product. Um, I designed these, these solar blankets to not, not compete with PowerFilm because they have their specific market, but basically offer people an alternative 
to um, having reliable power in both bright and low light conditions. And that's, that's what this is, our 220 watt solar blanket, which is less than half the price. The power film, I don't have the exact price in front of me, but it's just under $3,600 US. Our 220 watt solar blanket is just under $1,750 US. So what that translates to is you can buy two of our 220 watt solar blankets for double the power. Um, and you are going to have for ha less than half the price, which is pretty phenomenal. There you go. Random puppy photo. She's been playing all day for everybody that likes puppies, especially Akita's. Almost four months, by the way, guys. Um, oh, and she's uh, 41 pounds, a week away from four months. Oh, and the reason I'm on this side of the trailer, we're really, really windy. I forgot... I brought 10 pegs, but they're too big for the reinforced grommets on the power film. If I was on the other side of the trailer where the wind is really whipping up, the power film would blow away into the coulee. So I, that's why we're here right now doing this. Okay, I just wanted to give everybody an idea on that. We do have stock available. We have our 220 watts in stock, ready to ship. For anybody looking, we have m many different cables that people can use. There we go. Still 57, 56 watts with the power film. Yeah, plugged in. Um, we do have uh, solar blankets ready to ship. Uh, we can work with any manufacturer. Uh, Anchor here, as an example, very, very popular um, on what they, what they offer. This is actually an excellent unit. I use it personally. I'm quite happy with it. Um, and we are offering the Anchor products on our website as well, too. But, uh, yeah, if, if you're... If there's anything specific you're looking for, you don't see it on our website. We can do custom packages. We do these for people all the time. My name's Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. I would definitely be happy to answer any questions for you to um, provide basically anything you might possibly need. Okay, guys, but uh, that, that's it. Any questions, let me know. Hopefully everybody's having an awesome Easter. I'm hoping to, to be able to um, add, this, add this to the website here or add this to YouTube here pretty quickly. But that gives you perspective right there on the physical size difference. And basically weight is the same. You can see the physical size. I'll put the dimensions of both of them open um, once, uh, once I'm back at the computer and I have those in front of me. And I'll put those into the computer or into the YouTube video so you have it. Okay, guys. Enjoy your Easter. I'll post this. And yeah, that's it right there. One power film, 220 watt versus one off-grid Trek 220 watt and you can see the real world values there on how well it works. Okay, have a great day guys. We'll talk to you soon. My contact information will be below. I'll have links for our 220 watt solar blankets, uh, the Anchor product as well. And uh, yeah, uh, please like and subscribe to our videos. It does help. See there, you can actually see it just lifting up with the wind, the power film. Again, that's the reason I couldn't be on the other side there, whereas ours is not lifting up how we've designed it. But yeah, this would literally blow away in the in the coulee that we have right here if I was on the other side of the trailer. Okay, have a great day, guys. I will post this, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Okay, bye then.